Hello guys, welcome back. And today I'm going to show you how to record your audio and your screen on Microsoft PowerPoint. But before we start, make sure to subscribe to this channel and to like this video. Okay, so what I'm going to show you first is how to just record your audio and have it on your PowerPoint presentation. So you're going to go to insert, you're going to come all the way over to audio, click the downward arrow and click record audio. Here it will just say, this is where it's going to record. You can change the name, so you can put audio one. And then when you're ready to start recording, you click the record button here. So just to make sure you can see it working, it's going to one, two, and three, all right? And it's going to record everything I'm saying now. When you're finished, click OK. And here it's going to drop it as a little speaker, and that will show you it's recorded something. If you want to play it back, press the play button. So just to make sure you can see it working, it's going to one, two, and three, all right? And it's going to record everything I'm saying now. When you're finished, click OK. So it recorded everything I said. You can toggle how loud it is here, OK? And if you wanted to, you can actually change the size of the speaker if you want to make it really big or really small. And by right-clicking and pressing Format Picture, you can actually change the colour of the square it's in. So if I want it a dark blue, and if I want a line going around it, I can as well. Again, simply press the play button. Okay, so now you've done that, and now you want to record the entire screen and your audio at the same time. Go back to insert, go all the way over to screen recording, and it will automatically take you back to your desktop, which is absolutely fine. So I'm going to pop it back to my PowerPoint here. I'm going to click on a new slide, just to make it a little bit easier. And at the top here, it's a little tab down button. You will see what the options are. So here it says record pointer. That will simply mean it's going to record your mouse cursor. So at the moment it's ticked on, so it's definitely going to record that. Here it says it's going to record my audio. And here it's a selected area. Anything within the red border means it's going to be recorded. If I want to do the whole screen, you simply take this cursor, take it to the top, and you drag it down. All right? It's as simple and as easy as that, guys. When you've selected the area you want to record, you click Record. And it will time you down three, two, and one. So now it should be recording my entire PowerPoint slide. All right? And to show it works, I'm going to click Stop. And now it's going to put it onto a uh, PowerPoint slide. And the same with the audio. You click to make sure it's selected and you click the play button down here. One. So now it should be recording my entire PowerPoint slide. All right. And to show it works, I'm going to click stop. So as you know, you saw my cursor moving, you saw me clicking the button and you heard my audio. Not only that, guys, you can actually edit and trim the video content itself, if you just left click uh, the video and then right click it and then go up down here, you'll see trim. This shows the entire length of the video and anything on the outside of the red or green kind of borders is not going to be included. So at the moment, my video is uh, about eight seconds long and by dragging this over, it's now going to come two seconds long and I can press OK. So now if I press play, One. so now it should be recorded. It's not nearly as long and you can edit uh, that way if you want to, to cut out anything you don't want to include in your video. And you can actually do the same with your sound by pressing right click and trim. You can do the same method as well. So now that you've recorded your audio or your screen and you've trimmed it how you want, you can actually save it to your computer so you can access it when you're not on Microsoft PowerPoint. To do that, it's very simple. You just right click the screen or the audio. You're then going to go down to save media as, and then you're going to click where you want it to save to. You put PowerPoint uh, screen recording and there it will be saved. And the same can be done with audio. Right click it, save media as, and then go PowerPoint audio recording. Make sure it saves to the right place. 
and then record and be saved as a media file. Both of which can be accessed on a basic default uh, video slash audio uh, playing device on your computer. It's as simple as that guys. I'll see you next time.